Hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm so happy. I'm so so happy to be here. I'm so excited to be here today. I wish I can hug every one of you and say, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to see you. Happy New Year. But oh, yes, I cannot, but I can hug you through the spring and I'm very happy and excited to be here. So today we are cooking lunch. Yes, I was about to start making lunch and I said, why not? Why not? Why not? Let's do it together. So if you're interested, just stick around. Okay guys, so here we are. We're gonna start with the potatoes. So here we are, the potatoes are cleaned, washed and everything. So I have them in my pot here. I've added water to it. I'm just gonna add, add a, a bit of salt, yes. And I'm gonna allow it to boil, just for not to cook completely, but to boil for, when it starts boiling, I'm just gonna leave it boiling for, let's say five minutes, and I'm gonna take it off, strain it, and we're gonna season it and put it in the oven. Okay, so while the potatoes are boiling, we're gonna start seasoning this steak. Okay, let's go. So here I have my um, pork steak. There it is. Yeah. And all I'm going to do, nothing special. I have some red wine here. Yes, don't worry, even if you don't drink. I don't drink alcohol, but I just use it in cooking because when you cook it, the heat makes the alcohol evaporate. So you're not gonna get drunk or anything like that or anything, no. So that's fine, don't worry. So I have a little bit of uh, red wine here and I have some spices here, there's everything here so I'm not going to add any other spices, just this one which is a Japanese 7 spice seasoning and it's very light, there's even salt, there's everything in here. I've never tried it but reading the ingredients I can see there's everything here so just to see how good this is I'm not going to add any other spice, just this one. So I'm just gonna season my meat with these two and that's it. So here we're going to cover our bowl with a cling film and we're going to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Yes, we're going to allow it to marinate for 30 minutes at least. Yes, you can leave it overnight. You can leave it for a few hours. It's up to you, but 30 minutes minimum. Yes. So while it's marinating, we're going to get our potatoes ready. The potatoes are boiled and cooked. So we need to season them and put them in the oven. So here I have garlic and parsley. I'm going to crush them here in my mortar. I don't want the um, parsley mix to be smooth. I want it to be rough. So it's up to you. You can chop them with your knife. You can put them in your blender. But I wanted to crush mine with my mortar because that's the texture I was looking for. Yeah. So now we're going to marinate our potatoes with our parsley mix. So here is parsley and garlic. We're going to add um, black pepper to eat. We're going to add a bit of Maggi cube or jumbo cube, any seasoning cube of your choice. Yes. And we're going to add some butter as well and a bit of salt. And we're going to season our potatoes with all that. Okay, so here you're gonna notice that I did not mix it much. Don't even bother yourself because if you want to try and mix the potato and the parsley mix together properly, you're gonna crush your potatoes. At this point, don't bother about that. Just pour your mix over the potatoes here and there. Yeah, don't worry about mixing it. You're gonna mix it later. You will see how it goes. Yes, and then we're gonna drop some slices of butter here and there on the potatoes as much as you want. Yes, it's up to you. 
yes and here i'm using president brand of butter yes why because it's delicious this video is not sponsored no it's not but it's the truth president makes a lot of difference if you know it you know it <laughs> yes yeah, so we're going to cover the potatoes with a foil paper and we're going to put it in the oven yes and allow it to bake and while it's baking we're going to get our uh, green beans ready so here I'm using frozen green beans. You can use the fresh one if you have the fresh one. I did not have access to the fresh one. That's why I'm using the frozen one. So what I do, I always rinse my vegetable, my frozen vegetable. Yes, I, I rinse them before I start cooking them. And I'm going to get rid. There are some uh, things on. Some of them are not nice. So I'm going to get rid of them. Yes, and rinse, rinse them properly. And I'm going to pour them in my pot yes no seasoning nothing just the green beans in my pot and we're gonna put it on medium heat and allow it to cook so the juice of the green beans is gonna cook the beans for me yes you're gonna notice that all the water from the beans is gonna come out yes allow that water to cook your beans and allow the water to dry back again yes it's gonna dry again once the water has dried completely now we're gonna saute the the green beans so while the water is drying while the green beans are cooking we're gonna start with our steak so here in my pan i have oil and some few slices of onions yes and i'm gonna put my um my steaks in there and start frying them yes so the onions are just to give flavor to the oil to be honest yes so you can put garlic you can put um uh, rosemary it's up to you you can flavor your oil anyhow you like anyhow you want yes you can even add uh, butter to it as well it's up to you yes so we're gonna fry it. you're gonna see me mixing the beans here and uh, <laughs> turning the steak there like a dj yeah i <laughs> mean in the kitchen i'm like a dj when you're multitasking that's how it is so you're gonna see me touching everywhere <laughs> So here our water have dried completely from the beans yes and which means they are also cooked yes almost cooked if not completely cooked but they are still crunchy because I don't like my veggies to be completely soft I like them to be still crunchy so now I'm adding butter to it slices of onions i'm adding a bit of cubes i'm adding a bit of uh, black pepper and i'm adding some seasoning remember the seven japanese seven spice that we used for the steak i'm adding some of it as well to the green beans and we're gonna saute it all together yes So here the first batch of steak is ready. I'm just going to remove the all the almost burnt onion that you can see in there. Yes, and I'm going to add a bit more oil for the next batch and I'm going to add some slices of onions as well. At this point you can't see the onions, but I added the onions later. Yes. <laughs> So here is while I was frying the second batch of steak, I noticed there was some nice juice there. I decided to pour, get that juice and pour it into my green beans. Yes, yes, that's extra flavor there. <laughs> yes, so that was delicious. So here the green beans are ready look how delicious they are looking they're very yummy okay so here is time to take the potatoes out of the oven to check on them yes so I'm very sorry because you're not gonna see properly yeah I didn't realize that my camera was not filming 
properly was not focused on the potatoes i did not yes but i'm happy that you can even see a bit of it i tried to zoom yes to give you a little view of it so here's but the potatoes we're just now gonna mix it remember we did not mix it properly before we put it in the oven now that the butter has melted and the parsley mix has gotten softer yes they have softened because they they are cooked now it's easier to mix it so now look at what it looks like yes they look delicious so we're gonna put the after mixing we're gonna put the foil back on it and put it back in the oven again for maybe another until they are golden so maybe another 30 minutes yes yeah so while it's back in the oven we're gonna get our onion mix ready Here I am chopping, on, I'm slicing onions and garlic. So to, to do our onion meat, we're gonna use the same pan we use to uh, fry our steak. Don't get rid of the oil and all the things that is in this pan because we need them. They're gonna bring flavor to our onions. Yes, yeah, so leave the pan as it is and add a bit of butter to it and we're gonna pour our onions in there yes and we're gonna fry the onion nicely until they are golden yes i forgot that one yeah <laughs> that half onion tried to escape but yes i got it at the right time yes so we're gonna fry the onions and the garlic yes we're gonna add a bit of mixed herbs to it and we're gonna add a bit of black pepper to it as well and now we're gonna add a bit of salt and yes i also decided to add some of the seven spice japanese seven spice that we use to season our steak to the onions too. Remember, we added some to the green beans and I'm adding some to the onions as well. So once the onions are nicely fried, we're gonna deglaze them with a bit of red wine yes and that was delicious trust me we're gonna fry it for another one or two minutes and our onions are ready now time to check on our potatoes again and now they are ready we're gonna mix them a little bit more and we're gonna add our barbecue sauce to it yes this is barbecue baked potatoes yes barbecue and cheese of course so we're gonna mix them nicely and we're gonna add some barbecue sauce this barbecue sauce is not anything special this is a Sainsbury brand you can use any brand of barbecue sauce that's fine the quantity as well it's all up to you go like have fun <laughs> put as much as you like there's no problem with that and i'm gonna put some cheese on it i'm using cheddar and mozzarella mix yes you can use the cheese of your choice you can use just mozzarella or just cheddar it's up to you or any other cheese no problem but here i'm mix i'm using a mix of both yes and with the cheese go crazy as well as much as you like <laughs> and we're gonna put it back in the oven for maybe 10 minutes just so that the cheese can melt and that is it 
So here all I did was to put the steak in the plate and pour all the onions on top of it and I sprinkled uh, some of the seven spice on top of it as well. So our steak is ready, our potatoes are ready, now we're going to serve our green beans. <music> 